Good day, the state television company of Western Armenia represent the most important news for today, broadcast for today. The subject of the day with Grigora Mirzayan. On the eve of the 17th anniversary of Randing's death, the Foreign Minister of Greece paid tribute to the memory of the victims of the genocide committed against Armenia. Violation of territorial integrity and sovereignty of Armenia is not acceptable for us, Ambassador of Iran. Nakhichevan is not Azerbaijan. Armenian woman was appointed as the general director of Oscar. Exhibition of endangered Armenian heritage of Artsakh in France. The deputy of the Fight Convocation of the National Assembly of Western Armenia, Grigor Mirzayan, informed in his microblog that the military academy named after Vazgen Sarkisan that belongs to the Ministry of Defense of Eastern Armenia is now a member of the International Association of Military Academies. Due to the extensive educational reforms, the Military Academy was able to apply for membership in the International Associations of Military Academies, and the candidacy was improved. You can watch Grigory Amirzanian's analysis on the subject of Western Armenia TV on YouTube page. January 19 will mark the 17th anniversary of Ran Ding's death. On Ding's memorial day, a number of events will take place dedicated to the Great Armenian. On January 19, at uh, 3 o'clock, a tribute will be paid for in front of the Sabat building where a ghost newspaper used to be where Randing was killed 70 years ago. An online screening of the film system, Memory is Too Low for the Words, will be organized on January 19. A number of book presentations will take place dedicated to Randing. Greek Foreign Minister Yorgos Gerapetratis paid tribute to the victims of the Armenian genocide at the Tizernagabert Memorial Complex. The Minister of Foreign Affairs of Greece led the red at the monument commemorating the victims of the genocide bowed flowers at the internal fire. Also, the Greek Parliament adopted a decision to recognize the genocide committed against Ar Armenian on April 25, 1996. Ambassador of Iran stated that Armenia's territorial integrity and sovereignty violation is not acceptable for them. Ambassador of Iran, Iran has always supported Armenian sovereignty and territorial integrity. Iran's ambassador to Eastern Armenia, Mehdi Sobhani, reaffirmed this today in the response to journalists. Question stating that a violation of Armenian sovereignty and territorial integrity is not acceptable for Tehran. To the journalist question, since you said that the violation of Armenia's territorial integrity is unacceptable for you, in the case of violation against the territorial integrity and sovereignty against Armenia, will Iran take concrete steps in this direction? The ambassador answered, it will not be violated. Yesterday, the head of Baku announced that if Eastern Armenia does not agree to the Crossing between Nakhichevan without inspection, the border with Armenia will not be opened. Elsewhere, as this is the condition of peace. Now, it is appropriate to remember that unlike Artsakh, the status of Nakhichevan's Armenian autonomy is the subject of an international agreement. In general, there is a deep and comprehensive tab around the Russian-Turkish agreements in 1921 on the status of Nakhichevan. In the moment when Yerevan brought this issue to the negotiation agenda, Yerevan could oppose the fulfillment of the requirements of the Moscow Cars Treaty of Baku's demands for about half the territory of Armenian demand, which have no legal basis. The Armenian Woman was appointed the general director of Oscar. The American Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences has appointed Tani Melidonian as the general director of Oscar, which is a newly created position. This was announced by Bill Kramer, executive director of the Academy. In her new position, Tani Melidonian will lead the strategy, talent, relations, special events, and production team for all programs and events of the award ceremonies reported by the um, Hollywood reporter, said Kramer. Melidonian will work closely with Oscar producers and presenters such as uh, Disney, ABC, and Academy Management, including the Board of Governors and its committees, and will coordinate the work of team involved in the diplomat and execution of the Academy Award ceremony, as well as she will present it to a wider global audience. The director of the Academy highly appreciates Melidonia's experience, creative personality and perspective, giving a special importance to this position, especially on the eve of 100th of Oscar Awards ceremony. Under Kramer's leadership in 2022, Melidonian headed the Oscars newly created strategic department, which worked on all programs related to the awards throughout the year. 
Melidonia was recently the vice president of the strategy at Oscar. She began his academic career in 2005 as head of communications and publicity, overseeing brand st strategy and marketing. Endangered Armenian Heritage of Artsakh exhibition in France, an open-air exhibition titled Endangered Armenian Heritage of Artsakh was opened on the famous Bastille Square in Paris. The exhibition will run until January 15, organized by the City Hall of Paris and the Catholic organization Louvre d'Orient. At the official opening of the exhibition, the ambassador of Armenia to France, Hasmik Tolmajan, thanked the Paris municipality and the Catholic organization, the Louvre Orient, for being always with Armenian and Armenian nation, and noted that the organization of the exhibition is another manifestation of that solidarity. The ambassador emphasized that after carrying out ethnic cleansing against the people of Artsakh, now Baku is taking steps to eliminate the traces of the Armenian presence there, which are eloquent proof of the churches and the monuments. In this context, he particularly emphasized the implementation of international efforts in the dire direction of popularizing and preserving the Armenian historical and cultural heritage of Artsakh. The deputy mayors of Paris, Arnaud Nagacha and Karin Roland, the president of the Catholic organization Le Louvre or d'Orient, Jean Yves, told of the director general of the same organization, His Excellency Pascal Kolnich, as well as Artsakh's representative in France, Hovannes Gevorkian, were present with their speeches at the opening of the exhibition. This was all for today. Goodbye.